for this Sinktober was Swing. And when I read that, it made me think of the painting The Swing by uh, Jean-Henri Fragonard. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Anyways, um, it's a pretty famous painting. And uh, since it was, it's, it's spooky season, so <laughs> I thought it would be fun to make my own version of the painting The Swing, but using the Adams Family. And, um, I really love the Adams Family, and I feel like I always want to draw them for Inktober for practically every prompt, but I try to stop myself. But <laughs> this one seemed like too much fun not to do. Um, and I was trying to keep this one simple, but I felt like I couldn't leave out too many characters from the Adams family. Uh, so instead of keeping it simple by doing less characters, I decided to simplify the illustration as a whole. Um, and I had originally been thinking, oh, maybe I should uh, paint, like do ink washes and go more detailed with the background so it more resembles the painting. But I actually like that I chose to keep the line work simple because that's how I decided to simplify it. Because I really like having all the characters and I actually think it looks really good to have the crisp, simple line work against the white page. I actually think it works a lot better than what I had been imagining at first. And... Uh, it's kind of funny. I, well, maybe it's not funny, but I really like the digital version a lot better in the end than the the, the finished ver version, even though digitally it only ever is in a draft form. It's never quite finished. And I think part of the reason I like the digital version more is I felt like I got some of the characters' expressions and their looks a lot better. Like, I like how they turned out more. But I also feel like the line quality was nicer. Um, I feel like I should have made the finished version bigger and inked it with a brush or a dip pen, but I end up using microns because it's uh, so small and I was a little bit worried about not having enough control to get really thin lines with a brush or a dip pen. And I feel like it just ends up feeling kind of stiff in the end. And, and that can happen anyways when you move from a draft into a finished version because you clean things up and, and it can kind of lose the, the movement and... and uh, life that it had in the sketch. Um, so that can happen anyways, but I feel like I would have lost less of that like life in the line work if I had used something that helps at it anyways, because microns are very, like, they only give you one line width, so I had to go in and add any width that I wanted to be different, like, within a line. And going back over it, I did try to add that in, but it just doesn't have the same feeling as when it just naturally happens. So I think that's why it ended up feeling stiff. So I think that I'm not going to be using microns in something that the line work is the main, the main star of the show, because I didn't do any ink washes on this. So the line work really was all that it was. So choosing to use a micron in that situation, I just don't think was the best idea. I still like how it turned out. I had a lot of fun drawing the Adams Family. So I think I might just at some point go back and finish the digital version. So I did the same thing as I did with the last one and I printed it out and traced it onto my watercolor paper. I didn't show the tracing part this time because this whole thing is just me redrawing and redrawing the same thing, just going from a sketch to a more finished piece. I also um, have this part more sped up than normal just because 
I'm redrawing the same thing that you just watched. I'm just physically inking it instead of doing it digitally. There's a few things that I do here that I didn't in the draft version. And one of those is I add the the lines more neatly to a lot of the characters. And I also left highlights on Morticia's dress and hair. Um, so just really little things like nothing worth seeing. But here it is. Thanks for watching my Tober video. I've gotten a little bit behind posting the videos, but I'm getting caught up this weekend. I wasn't I wasn't feeling awesome this week and I didn't want to push myself to the point where I couldn't finish Inktober. So, I'm I'm getting caught up. <laughs> and uh I've been more consistent on my Instagram, so if you want to see pictures, uh you can go there and my Instagram is @mckenzie_benson. underscore Benson and hopefully I stay more consistent for the rest of the month. Thanks, bye.